Hey angels, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Lucy, thanks for being here. And if you're not new and you've watched my other videos, then love you for coming back. Today's video, I've decided to hone in on my inner Christine Quinn. If you have no idea who that is, then as soon as you finish watching this video, go to Netflix right away and watch Selling Sunset because it is literally the best show on Netflix at the moment. There's a girl on there called Christine who I'm totally obsessed with, even though she's kind of mean, but in a fabulous reality TV kind of way. And she often wears a bold red lip, which is the look I'm going for today. Anyway, getting back to today's video, I'm 27 years old and I'm still sussing this stuff out, you know? As a girl, shaving is hard. You want to feel like this smooth dolphin all the time. And there's shaving bumps, there's rashes, there's all these things to think about. And I'm here to help you. I've done a lot of research. I've looked through Reddit. I've looked through Google. I've read all the Cosmopolitan articles. I've done everything. And now I'm here today to pass this knowledge on to you. I've got five top tips that we're going to go through. Let's get into today's video. Tip number one is exfoliating gloves yes i look like michael jackson right now with this on but who cares these bad boys are about two pound in sainsbury's they feel kind of rough but not too rough and they just exfoliate your skin get it all ready to be shaved get it feeling all smooth and no like dead skin in the way blocking anything we just want that hair ready to go ready to be shaved whether you're doing your legs down here your arms your armpits i don't care what you're doing but I do care that you exfoliate first tons. That's tip number one, cheap, easy, love it. Tip number two, I'm not prepared enough for, I'm kind of annoyed at myself, but what are you gonna do? I've got an example of what we should not be using. This is a Gillette, I think they're called like Ocean or Oceana or something, Oceana, my favorite club, uh, women's razor. And these, as you can see, have three blades at the front. This is not enough. Literally, all men's razors, even the super cheap ones, have five blades. And the more blades there are on the razor, the more hairs it can pick up in one go, meaning we have to go over the same area less times, meaning it's less likely to get annoyed at us. We want to always look for razors with five blades. Go to the men's aisle in Sainsbury's. You can get a massive pack for literally no money and they've all got five blades. So why they're giving us girls three blades is beyond me. But that's tip number two, five blade razors. I'm not very prepared because I should have in this hand a men's razor with five blades, but I'm not ready. It's a Sunday, forgive me. Tip number three. I feel like we are smashing through these tips, which is great. Tip number three is shaving foam. I'd never used shaving foam before. I was like, a, a little shower puff with some shower gel is surely fine. No, 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 no. You want a moisturizing shaving gel because we want to be keeping the area really happy with us. This, once again, men, can you see the theme of this video? I'm having to buy all men's products, really. But they work better for shaving. I guess they do have to shave their face like all the time. Smooth glide, close to shave. It does what it says on the tin. It keeps the area smoother. It makes the glide of the razor nicer over those hairs, making it less likely that you're gonna cut yourself or have any irritation. And it helps protect the skin against dryness, which can happen when shaving. So totes my goats, you need this in your life. Tip number what tip are we on? Tip number four. We're back with this razor because pretend this is one of the ones I told you to get with the five blades. When you're shaving, you never want to just go up straight away because that's the way we're going to irritate the skin the most. The way you irritate your skin the least is to go with the hair. So first things first, when you're first trying to get rid of the hair, you want to shave with the direction of the hair. So like down with the direction of the hair. Then when that's got rid of most of the hair, you wanna shave across sideways to get rid of a little bit more hair. And then if you wanna go over that really close shave, that's when you can shave the opposite direction of the hair. Just once on the last go, if you even need it. I mean, we've got five blades and we've already gone downwards and across, so you might not even need it. But if you do, once in the opposite direction, just to get that real smoothness, that real close shave. Tip number five, wow, how quick can this video be? Love that for us is something that I found on Reddit, on a Reddit thread, and I've never heard about it before. None of my friends have ever heard about it. And I found it on Amazon once I've discovered it on this Reddit thread. The reviews are incred. And I was like, why is this not being taught in schools? Legit. It is called Skin Doctor's Ingrown Go, and it looks like this. 
It's hard to see because it's a see-through bottle. But like I said, I got this on Amazon. I feel like it was like 15 pound or something. It exfoliates the skin to reduce the appearance of ingrown hairs and razor bumps. So you put it on like a little cotton pad or something and after you've shaved, not straight after you've shaved, but maybe like an hour after you've shaved or something, you tap this on the area that you've just shaved if you do struggle with ingrown hairs and razor bumps. And oh, wow, 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 wow. Do that every time you shave and we will be having no problems, honeys. We've exfoliated before. We've used the right razor. We've used shaving foam. We've gone in the right direction. Then we top it off with some ingrown go. Honey, we are living our best shaved life. We are feeling smooth, sleek, stunning. I hope those tips have changed your life. They certainly changed mine when I read all about them because it's hard out here for us huns. Let me know what you think in the comments. I hope I've taught you something today and I love you all for sticking with me through this video. Bye, honeys.